Today on Trend. This home combines a perfect location with a stunning view. Nothing brightens an old house like new Centra windows. And beautiful landscaping in the Blinkensop Valley. If you're looking for both the perfect location and the perfect view, well then this home is for you. Ingrid, we couldn't have a more wonderful location. And welcome to Lockside Drive. And this is the quintessential location situated right in the heart of Cadover Bay and perched high enough that you're capturing amazing, beautiful views over Cadover Bay Beach and to the Salish Sea beyond. Um, extraordinary views of Mount Baker and the moon and the sunrises. I just don't think it gets any better. And you have your own beautiful patio right off the living area. And it doesn't block the view at all. You could sit out there all day long. <laughs> and it's an all season deck as well. There's an, a lovely sheltered covered area and it really provides that true outdoor living space, which is so part of Cadover Bay and, and just being able to access um, everything that's so close by. Uh, you're a five minute walk to Maddox Farm Shops, uh, of course the award-winning Cadover Bay Golf Course. Uh, you're literally a block from the Beach House restaurant and the sandy beaches of Cadover Bay, which the Beach House is one of my favorite uh, places to, to catch a, a great coffee or a beautiful seaside uh, dining experience. It really is just uh, an incredible neighborhood here that Cadover Bay offers. Let's talk about this home for a second. Is it a townhouse? So no, this is a single family detached and provides that opportunity for someone who is looking for very easy care maintenance, both for the exterior being newer construction and also uh, yard space. You're um, provided with more of deck and patio as opposed to right. a traditional grassy uh, landscaped area. This home is really all about lifestyle. And I mean, for somebody like myself even, I don't really want a yard. I don't want all that maintenance. This is the perfect scenario for me. <laughs> and this home really provides uh, a, a wide demographic of potential uh, buyers. You could have a family that's very active and busy uh, with older children who, again, um, they're out and about and they don't really need that trampoline space. And for a buyer who's looking for something that's much more easy care and more lifestyle driven, and this home provides that opportunity. And I really love too that you can age in place in this home. There are so many things that would allow you to have help come in or with the elevator. You know, it's not one floor living, but you can easily access both. And I think the builder was very astute and ahead of his time. Uh, Brant Hoff, uh, very well-known uh, local craftsman, um, provided this beautiful quality design build, which uh, I think the private elevator definitely was an added feature that now we're starting to see come up in more often in, in design and plans and, and people's future planning too, where they're trying to age in place and, and stay in their own home as opposed to looking at alternatives. I think it's important for people to be able to try to make that happen within their own home. Right. And like you said, this home offers the ability um, with a lower bedroom with its own ensuite that a caregiver could easily or a family member have their own private area to, to take care of a family. So how many bedrooms are actually in this home? Um, so this offers three bedrooms, four bathrooms, and this main top floor is all one level, which includes your master bedroom and a great uh, sense of, of light and again the indoor outdoor uh, movement between the front and, and the back patio uh, is just a perfect spot not only to entertain but just to have day-to-day -day living as well. The natural light is absolutely flooding in here today and this isn't even the brightest day I can't imagine it on like a sunny gorgeous day. I know and you can see the skylights right here in the dining room with this incredible chandelier probably one of my favorite light fixtures I've seen in a while. It's 
such a beautiful statement. The light that this home offers, you're absolutely right, and the skylights are just such a prominent feature. One design tip as well is it doesn't necessarily matter the size of the footprint so much, but if you do high ceilings and have tons of natural light, it just makes the space feel more grand and open. And I think it is really a great nod to the design where the ceilings aren't too over grand or mm -hmm. too high, where it still has that warm and inviting feeling, yet letting in all of that natural light. And all of the finishes are really high end and good quality, like the kitchen cabinetry, for example. One of my favorites too is the edge grain for cabinetry and just the functionality of the kitchen. It's perfect for entertaining with the grand granite countertops and the lovely eating bar, um, plus the separate island with a double sink. It really just has a full package and a full complement and is really one of my favorite listings. They've done a really good job too of just having a little bit of separation for the kitchen so people will stay out of your way while you're cooking and the chefs will really appreciate that. <laughs> So Amy, not only does this home offer just those extra level details, the quality, but it's one of those full package opportunities where you're positioned in one of the most desirable location neighborhoods in Victoria, your steps to the Lockside Trail, your close proximity to beautiful parks and walking sandy beaches. This really is the perfect package for a new family to enjoy and experience. I don't think that you guys realize how many components there are to a kitchen or bath renovation. There's a lot and it can be stressful, but David, you guys really take all that stress out of it. We try to, yeah. That's what we're trying to do for our customers is have a one-stop shop and come to us so that they feel comfortable with their renovation. And we're talking like from demolition of the old bathroom or kitchen right up to install and move in of the new. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. From start to finish, that's what our goal is to make, make the customer happy and like what they get. We're standing in this really cute vignette here and um, I can't believe that's not tile. It looks amazing. Yeah, I know it works well. Um, that's our new one of our new tiles, a wave panel. Mm -hmm. And uh, perfect little tile to show you what we can do uh, with our cast marble to make what people think is tile actually solid sheets. So it's, it's, a, it's a good product, um, durable, uh, lifetime warranty. For a more contemporary home, this would be so cool, and yet it's so easy to clean. Yeah, exactly. That's the key to it. It's easy to clean, easy to install. We're also seeing a lot of the marble as a trend still. You guys can tackle that one. We can, yeah, with our Tiberian product. It's uh, quite popular for people that want to have that natural stone look mm -hmm. at, a, at a better price. Yeah. So I was mentioning that there are a lot of components to a bathroom or kitchen design. Let's talk a little bit about some of sure. those. We've got cabinetry, we've got countertops, plumbing fixtures, even mirrors. Yeah, it's, it's, you can get it all through us here. Uh, we have our LED back, backlit mirrors, which are, are people like, they have the anti-fog on them. Our cabinets are all built here in Victoria. And you can really help pull the whole look together. Yeah, with designers. Yes, <laughs> and you also have a great team of sub trades and such that do it all for you. We do, yeah, we have a tested a uh, team of electricians, plumbers, drywallers, painters, everything that makes the job go well. So really the best time for someone to come in is, um, well, let's be honest, you hate your bathroom, you hate your kitchen, you're home all the time, it's yeah. just not working. That's when to come to you. That's when you come to us, yeah. We do okay. free estimates, um, can come out anytime, Monday through Saturday, uh, mm -hmm. in home, or people can come to our showroom here uh, with masks. But right. uh, yeah, you bet. And especially those little problems, um, you know, if something is not off the shelf sizing, all of that, there's so many custom options. Exactly. That's what we offer is the ability to, to have a custom look mm -hmm. at a reasonable price. And really, let's be honest, I mean, a lot of homes aren't standard sizes. The walls aren't straight or flat. Corners don't meet properly. It's not going to be easy like you think it is. Generally, it's not. Yeah, right. generally it's a task to get a renovation done for sure, yeah. Yeah, except for that odd little time you get a special treat and everything <laughs> works out perfectly. Yeah, true. Yeah, very true. Yes. But there always are tasks or, you know, you're always running into issues that 
you want a general contractor there to help you with so that you can get it done properly. Exactly, and then if there are little decisions to be made, you're there to help them along the way. Yeah, and keep the stress level down is the biggest thing, because mm -hmm. it is stressful. You guys really take the worry out of it and can handle it all. That's our goal for, our, for us, is to help our customers get through these renovations as stress-free as possible and to make the end product what they want it to be. Do you have something in your home that just drives you crazy? Like, I mean, gnaws away at you every time you see it? Well, look up, way up. This was something that really drove me crazy. I'm talking about the lighting. There was nothing wrong with the light fixtures before, but this is a spec home, so the builders always have cost in mind. The reason that it didn't work for me is I don't like seeing the bare bulbs. There's nothing wrong with it style-wise. It's sort of a style to have Edison bulbs showing that sort of thing. It just wasn't what I was wanting. So I thought that this light fixture is just so elegant and really plays off the height of the ceiling. Light fixtures are an easy thing to change when you get sick of them, so you can mix and match. They don't have to be all the same. The sconce lights really made a big difference because the lighting is so much better than the previous ones. These ones are an integrated LED, so it gives off a nice warm light and it doesn't create a lot of shadows. The bulbs are gonna last forever. They don't even have bulbs. What am I talking about? I'm never gonna have to change them. And I love this light fixture above the table because we can dim it down. It's in the main space. It can really create the mood. And then you can always layer lighting with table lamps, floor lamps, that sort of thing to create the ambiance. But I really wanna use this opportunity to kind of have a jewel in this space. It's a great accessory. Think of it sort of as uh, when you're getting dressed and you're putting your earrings on. You can really change the look of your outfit based on the accessory. Put on those earrings, or in our case, lighting. You won't regret it. Andrew, one of my favorite design trends right now is the black windows. I love it on the outside and the inside. <laughs> Yes, we are seeing quite an increase in demand for black frames and black windows outside and inside as well. Back here you can see a 1980s style Tudor home with uh, the beautiful Tudor boards. They've just been freshly painted black to match our new frames. So the cool thing with these black capstock windows is they're not actually painted black. What they are is a black vinyl co-extruded with a white vinyl. So you actually have black vinyl outside, white vinyl inside. The benefits of this is you don't have the risk of fading, cracking, or flaking paint down the road. So really great product if you're considering black. Aside from the look of it, what are some other reasons that people would want to replace their windows? So you've got uh, a couple of reasons to replace your windows, just home comfort. If your windows are looking old and clunky, you've got your property value, but a uh, great program right now is the BC Hydro Energy Grant Program. Would actually, they actually give cash back to homeowners for installing more highly energy efficient windows into their homes. So important to consider is the U value on a window, which uh, this is a thermal performance indicator set by BC Hydro that dictates what, whether a product meets for an energy rebate or it doesn't. So this is important to consider because not all products under the same manufacturer will actually meet this benchmark. Uh, at Centre, we're proud to be able to upgrade the window with our Comfort Plus glass, which will actually be able to generate uh, an energy rebate for any style of opener that you're looking for. And while we're talking about efficiency and performance, what's the difference between a double pane window and a triple pane? Yeah, great question. So we are seeing a bit of an uptake on the demand for triple pane glass in uh, high performance buildings such as net zero ready homes or step four and five in the new BC Energy step code. Uh, but what we've been able to do with our Comfort Plus coatings is provide a double pane window that actually performs just as well as those triple pane windows being specified. So we think that's important for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, just for cost, you're looking at uh, adding 50% more glass into every window and then just uh, the labor for the crews to move that kind of weight around. So we're really proud to be able to offer a double pane window that performs as well as those triples. How can people help support local business? Really, really important right now with the state of the economy is to be able to vote with their dollars and keep them local. So what's cool about Centra is where BC's only vertically integrated window installation company that's also all employee owned. So we take care of manufacturing the windows, installing the windows, servicing the windows all in house as well as every dollar stays within your communities and goes right back to the BC economy. There's a lot of work going on at the site today. What are we seeing happen at this home? Yeah, so what we're doing here is we're replacing all the windows in the home. They had uh, 
1980s, so original brown aluminum windows. So this is an example of our renovation style or retrofit insert windows. So what we do is we remove the glass from the aluminum frames and these new black windows actually fit inside of them. So we're able to replace all the windows in this home without disturbing all the intricate Tudor boards. Um, everything stays in place and has a great finish in a short project. Andrew, thank you so much for sharing this amazing project with us today. Yeah, thanks, Amy. We're excited to have you out. Go global with Newport Realty and Christie's International. In Italy, Sardinia is the island of wellness and longevity. The island's natural beauty, historic towns, and gastronomic specialties all add up to offer a high quality of life. The Costa Sorelda remains one of the island's most glamorous resorts. With increasing demand for seafront trophy assets, the prices range from seven to $50 million. Villa Baia del Amore is a stunning property a few steps from the sea. The villa features a charming Mediterranean garden, swimming pool, and extraordinary outdoors. With four bedrooms and generous interiors, the villa offers the benefits of a resort lifestyle with a privacy that comes with owning a luxury seafront home. Other than EU nationals, you must have a valid residence permit if you want to buy in Italy. Unless, of course, you live in a country with a reciprocity agreement. I'm Susanna Crofton, going global with Newport Realty and Christie's International. I'm so thankful that I get to see some of the most amazing properties in Victoria, and this has to be at the top. Chris, this is such a stunning place. Yeah, it's pretty wicked. Um, the client had a really good vision, and we were able to understand that and deliver our portion of the project. And really getting involved from the very beginning, because you were here at the very beginning. Yeah, that's really key. Uh, I wish people would get a hold of us earlier on more occasions, but yeah, we were here actually before the foundations were even cribbed and poured. So we had an understanding of the, of the project before the ground broke ground, and we were able to utilize a lot of the materials on site because of that. And what sort of planning did that involve? Well, it really impacted how we designed the project, what materials we used, and how we placed them. Uh, we really were conscious of the carbon footprint of such a large project, and we wanted to maximize the materials on site and utilize them in an aesthetically pleasing manner. So what are some examples of that? I know you kept some of the rock when yeah, you were blasting. Yeah, exactly. So they had to do some substantial blasting uh, to get the house as far back as possible. And so we utilized a lot of that blast rock in the retention, uh, the retaining walls, the masonry, and freestanding boulder walls. A lot of those were materials from site. So we put them to the side and then we went through them uh, so that the mason could utilize the smaller ones and then the larger stones we used for the bigger blast rock in the entry area. And let's talk a little bit about the dirt. I'm yeah. sure there's a much more technical yeah. term for it than well, that. Yeah, but... growing media technically, but Great. yeah, topsoil. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we're in the Blankensop Valley, so it's very fertile ground. Um, so when it was stripped, it was stockpiled, and then we amended that soil with, um, with some organic material and some sand, depending if it's lawn blend or garden blend. And we have a mobile screening plant that we brought on site, and we were able to save 150 trucks going, leaving the property and 150 dump trucks coming back into the property. So the footprint of us um, being able to deliver this landscape is a little more environmental friendly. And I know part of the plan was to bring the entertaining from the inside to the exterior and have an additional space. Totally. I yeah. would say yeah. you were very successful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, uh, we're we really happy how this turned out. You know, the, the cost of construction is, is massive. And if we can utilize the outside space to reduce that cost, but still maximize the, the entertainment value, then that, you know that's the goal of the design, really. And even the tile, the lighting, even the plants, everything was planned around that. Yeah, 100%. So, you know, again, the environmental conscious aspect of it, we've got a, a what's called a hydrowise irrigation controller. So it's a smart controller, it's hooked up to the internet, it monitors the weather and it self adjusts throughout the season so that you're not using up too much water and you're not um, and it adjusts for when it's too hot or when it's very hot and and puts more water down so that the plants really 
can maximize their growth through this season, which reduces even more water because it's it's creating cover for on the ground. So. And what's amazing about that too is you can save time and money because you can do the controls of that off-site. Yeah, exactly. The the long-term costs uh, start to go down because our techs can access this <laughs> wherever they are. And if the client's got an issue, they can call us up. Our techs can run through remotely. They don't even have to come on site unless there's you know something that's that needs our attention then but a lot of times we can eliminate that through the the app and how was the selection of the plants because you guys have to maintain this yeah. and i know there's a lot of critters and yeah, exactly. little guys around here that see this as a huge buffet yeah yeah totally so uh deer in victoria are getting more and more acclimatized to the foreign plant material that we're bringing in here for the aesthetic you know the aesthetic reasons uh so they're starting to learn that they can eat this and, and they'll be okay. So right. uh, that's a real challenge to be one step ahead of the deer and because and, we're not going to fence the whole property. It's no. a huge property. So the plants that are outside of the fencing have to be deer resistant. And you know, the stuff on the inside, we have a little more flexibility on, on what we can do uh, aesthetic wise and, and not have to worry about the deer um, getting in. So. I really love a lot of the projects that you work on. This is a great example from something from start to finish, but a lot of the charity work that you oh, guys yeah, yeah. do, it's so amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, it's a big core value uh, of ours to, to, to give back to our, our community. It's We're successful because of our community and, um, and we're in a position to give back. It's a great feeling to be able to give back and, and help vulnerable people um, and you know it's it's yeah yeah it's a definitely feel good for sure yeah makes it makes it worthwhile it really does yeah. and some of the playgrounds that you guys have put yeah. in are yeah. so fun yeah we uh, we'll probably get you back for another one we're just designed one right now it's like it's insane yeah it's yeah. really insane yeah so i'm really excited about it tell us a little bit about some of the challenges on the hero work project that you just did yeah so we just did a hero works project we were doing a nature playground in the in the backyard and there was no machine access so uh, we got a little crazy and we brought in uh, a 90 ton, a 90 ton tra uh, crane and we craned in our machine to the backyard we craned in a huge concrete pipe tunnel uh, you know the, the pipe was like 9,000, 10,000 pounds. So it was really, really a fun project. You know, the, that hero work organization is, is something else. That's why I love working with you guys is because you're so solution based. We just tell you our challenges and our problems and you turn it into something amazing. That, like yeah, it's really our strength is, is thinking outside the box and how to, how to maximize things that are on site and, and really um, enjoying the process. Like just taking a step back and and, and you know, our team is amazing. Like everybody cares so much. I couldn't have said that better myself. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, Chris. Yeah, thank you.